Well, we are almost at the end of May here, but we do want to stress the importance of checking on your mental health because May is Mental Health Awareness Month. We have Felice Tower, our favorite licensed counselor here for us this morning. Thank you for being here. Thank you for having me as always. Absolutely. So obviously you hear a lot about mental health, right? And it's kind of like a buzzword, but it really is important to just make sure that you're really staying on top of it. What's kind of a good place for people to start? Right, so this year's theme is where to start, right? But it's also bringing in the current challenges okay. that people are experiencing around mental health. And so some of the, I'm gonna get to where to start, but some of the current challenges that people are experiencing right now is mm -hmm. the youth crisis. Right. Right, so 20% of our youth are struggling with the mental, emotional, or behavioral disorder. That's a lot. Mm -hmm. COVID-19 contributed to that. Social media contributes to a lot of the youth crisis. Also anxiety and depression. We have 44 million Americans who are suffering with anxiety wow. right now. And a lot of it is due to, especially for our young adults, they're reporting higher and higher. And a lot of it is doing, um, due to a lack of purpose. Mm -hmm. um, they really don't know what the meaning of life is for them yet. And they're also dealing with a lot of academic and career pressures. And so that's one of the reasons or some of the reasons why we're dealing with adult cases or young adults with their cases rising higher. And then social determinants, right? We've got economic instability. We've got um, neighborhood disparities, mm -hmm. health disparities, lack of access to different things. And so there's a lot of things that are contributing to people's mental health right now. And so we have to know what those challenges are. And then where to start, right? So some of the places to start is your local primary care physician. Okay. Go with your doctor. If you know that you're feeling some kind of way and you're really unsure, make a doctor's appointment. A lot of them are then connected to us, like therapists and licensed social workers. And or you can go to your job's EAP, Employee Assistance Program, where they give free therapy at least around five to six sessions. So those are some really good places to start. Right. Are there any uh, coping mechanisms that people can work on on their own as well? So everything that makes you get into a zen-like feeling or makes you feel good, those are all coping skills, right? Right. So we start out with the diet, the exercise, the hydration. I know we talk about, I know I talk about it to y'all all the time but it really does matter, right? Mm -hmm. It really helps our overall mental health. Then I believe in and start sharing with people about centering and doing some mindfulness, especially first thing in the morning. You wanna make sure that you do something and be real intentional about you, how you start the flow of your day. So that could just be getting still. That could be getting a nice cup of coffee and sitting out on your deck and watching the sunrise. It could be a good stretch, some yoga. It could be some prayer or a devotion or some journaling. Those are all good things. And then, you know, you have your regular um, coping skills like shopping, getting your nails done, getting your hair done, a good massage. All of those things that help you manage your day better or your life better, those are all coping skills. And there's tons and tons and tons of ways you can cope. Self-care. And I have to wonder, you know, that, you know, putting down your phone, putting down the screen time has to help, right? Right. Um, seriously, I know we talk about it a lot, but social media is really a big determinant of people's mental health. Sure. And the issues that they're experiencing, especially with our young people. So mm -hmm. try and do some fast throughout the day or maybe limit what just do Facebook for a day or just mm -hmm. Instagram and then cut off the time. Right. right? Give Get yourself a limit. Give yourself a limit. Get some discipline around it, right? Like, don't do it right before you sleep. Go to bed. Okay. And don't pick it up first thing in the morning. Don't let those two things occur. That's hard, right? I think everyone just grabs it right off the nightstand, but some good advice there. We just shared some information on how people can get in contact with you as well uh, so that people can um, speak with you about some of these important things. Right. So I'm on psychology today. It's Felice Hightower Britt. Uh, my therapy practice is Resiliency Consultants and therapeutic services. And also there's other resources like NAMI, right? Um, that's a really good local resource. Monarch, we have your local hospitals. And I'm on Instagram, Facebook, and y'all, y'all make me get on TikTok, okay? <laughs> so I am Felice Hightower Britt, Real Talk with Felice and the Be Big Coach. All right, well, thank you so much, Felice. We appreciate your time. Thank you for having me.